Hey guys, welcome back to a weekly vlog. Oh my god, I missed these. I feel like I've not filmed these in forever. I don't know where I've been, what I've been doing. But I promise I'm going to start filming them. Also, I really need to wash my hair, but I literally did not have time. So I've kind of just make make do, make done with this curly hairstyle that I've been wearing so much on Instagram. I'm wearing it up in a bun. And I actually think it looks super cute. I'm going to film a reel of how I create the curls using the, it's like the GHD tiny little chopstick curler. And if you have curly hair like this, just know that so many girls lust over it. And it's honestly beautiful. Like, I have loved curly hair since I was probably like six i feel i always used to be like to my mom like i really want curly hair um so it's really nice just having it for a couple of days and the curler is incredible i'll quickly was through my outfit dress is an oldie like really old it was from like a random shop in florida so i can't link this i'll try and like find it but i just know it's so old the cardi is an oldie from zara and I love this because it's like kind of crochet thing is like in at the moment. And I've had this cardigan forever and I just love it. Blazer is a store X one that I adore. Kind of want to get the crop version that they've brought out um, for this year, which looks super cute. This is the dress, by the way. I haven't got my trainers on. I'm just going to literally wear my night dunks. And I'm bringing out this bag. I'm thinking of selling a couple of my handbags. Gosh, I really want to sit and talk to you, but my Uber is literally here. But let's talk for a second. I'm thinking of selling four or f three or four of my handbags. This was in the running to be one of the bags that I was gonna sell. This is from Bista, by the way, if you're like, I've never seen that bag. Bista produces bags strictly for, sorry, Gucci produces bags strictly for the outlets. So this is not a bag that you'll get in the store, but it is a bag that I got at the outlet center. Some people love that, some people hate that. I think I lean towards hating it. I hate the fact that you can't go there and buy a current season bag. You have to buy something that is made for the outlet. But anyway, I do think this is a super cute piece. And I'm just going to wear it a couple more times to see if it's worth keeping or if it's a bag I need to let go. You guys know I'm thinking of buying a Chanel and it means I've got to do a bit of a clear out, save a little bit of money before I'm in a position to do that. So hence me thinking of selling these. My Uber is outside. I've actually got to go. Let's get to London. So excited to bring you guys with me. Hey guys, I hope you're doing super well and enjoying the vlog so far. I just wanted to hop in here really quickly and tell you all a little bit about today's sponsor, which is none other than HelloFresh. If you guys have watched me for a while, you'll know I've actually um, worked with HelloFresh before. I've ordered their boxes myself before unsponsored and i just really love the concept essentially if you've never heard of them they deliver meals to your house but they're like really easy to make it's nothing too complicated you can even select ones that are like 20 minutes to make which i just think is so good if you're living a really hectic life in the week and you want something super super easy they also offer a lot of vegetarian meals if like me you are veggie or pescatarian lots of range on their website and i actually have a code so i'm going to leave the code on the screen i'm also going to leave it in the description box do not forget my code because it'll give you guys a little bit of money off your first box and i definitely recommend giving it a go even if you try it for like three nights of the week and see how you get on um in the long run it saves me so much money and that's why i like it it also cuts out the faff of not knowing what to cook i find that the most difficult thing about cooking like I don't know what I want to cook for dinner. So I love that they're already like organized for you and you can select your meals the week before your box arrives. So I'm going to talk you through some of the meals that I have here. I'm sure you guys will see in some of the clips that I pop on the screen now of us preparing them. First up, I have this pan fried halloumi meal. I selected all of these because I do love halloumi. I love a lot of cheese. So I feel like a lot of these meals do involve some form of cheese. Like even the little salad that I got for the midweek is a goat's cheese and fig salad. Um, there's loads of other options. I'm gonna leave the exact ones that I selected below if you do wanna check them out. But HelloFresh change their options regularly, which I think is really nice because then it keeps it fresh if you're someone that's gonna do this subscription for a really long time. Honestly, I've stopped going to the supermarket now and buying food. I think the main thing for me that I found when I started using HelloFresh was waste. So I actually waste a lot of food because I typically go out and buy just, I overbuy for the week. I end up throwing most of it away. So I think the good thing about HelloFresh is that it all comes pre-done with exactly what you need for that portion. So you're not gonna throw unnecessary food away at the end. And also change the meals depending on how many people are like living at home. So me and Leon did the meals together. So I did most of them for two, but when I lived back with my mum and dad at my mum's house, mum and dad's house, I did them for four. So it is very flexible. You can also cancel them if one week you're like, do you know what, we're not gonna use it. We're going out for dinner or something like that, um, which I think is really, really good. You can pause the subscription. So yes, I'm a massive fan of HelloFresh. I definitely think try it if you haven't before. If my friend is watching this my friend Chloe 
please try it Chloe because I really think you will enjoy it um she always says to me that she like struggles with what to make in the evening and I just like you need to try HelloFresh I think you'll get on with it really really well so yes don't forget my code I'll leave everything linked below hopefully you guys saw some of the meals that we made around the screen um if you've got any questions just shoot me a message either here or on Instagram and I'll get back to you and let's get back into the vlog hey guys hello guys look who I'm with by the way, I've just put lip liner on. I've got no lip gloss if I look absolutely <laughs> crazy. It's like, what a time to pick up the camera. I, literally look, I know, I don't know why. I just thought I, I need to pick up the camera because otherwise I won't. No. Me and Bella's are here. We've come into London. It's very spontaneous on my part. I know, I know. <laughs> Bella was it's warning. You were already coming in. I was yeah. like, I'll come. Like, I'll get out of the yeah. house. This is like a makeup. Make it's Nick's Maybelline and a Pepsi. It is. Like a mix of brands. It's like this warehouse. It's kind of round, yeah. But I'm just trying on this lip liner. By the way, I am gonna put lip gloss on. What is this? Is this Maybelline? This is Nyx, and this, which I love the Nyx liners. They're like my favourite. But I don't know what colour this is. Oh, here we go. Total Cooler. Yeah, this one is actually quite nice. It's just like the one I put on. That is nice. I thought it was like a berry, but it's actually more like a new. That is nice. They are really nice. I need to just add a lip gloss. Where did you find the name? It's on the side, Total Cooler. Gold Getter. There we go. Gold Getter. I'll show you guys around. this one as well. Like, yeah. It's like a crack machine, you want to get a drone. Yeah, yeah I'm going to get a drone. I'm going to go with it. No, I don't. I love this guy though. Love it. Send more than that. Hi vlog. We're at Junction, so it's probably the worst time. Ah! for me to get the vlogger out but i'm meant to be ah! weekly vlogging i'm meant to be weekly vlogging and i went to the event we're going shopping we are going shopping to get some food but let me just explain what's happened in between the last piece of vlog um i met up with bella we went to the event it was like it was cute but it was like it wasn't the kind of thing where you could be there for like four hours it was like quite like, it was like a drop in it was like no, a drop in no. It wasn't vibe. No, no, it was vibe. It's just like a drop-in thing. So now we're going to get some dinner, and we're gonna go over to my mum and dad's house this evening, aren't we? Yeah, the gym's there as well. Should we go there quick? <laughs> I'm not dressed for the gym. How many times have been there since? Been... <laughs> That's disgusting. We've been there once. I'm not even gonna pretend. And how long have we been signed up? Two months. That's really. That's embarrassing, yeah, though. Like I, I, I give you permission to have a go at us in the comments. Not too much, cause I am fit. <laughs> Anyway, I'm here with Leon. He just had his haircut. What do you think of it? It's cute. No, you look no. young. Say, no, no, say exactly what you just said. I said you look really young. You said it's too what? Short. No, I don't think I did. You it's did. not as short as, I mean, it is quite short actually. It is very It's at the short. back. I don't like it when there's like no hair at the back. People already say they feel sick in my videos. They're gonna. I feel sick right now. I'm not gonna lie. That's what you're giving your manual. <laughs> anyway, Jack. Anyway, we're coming to get some dinner, and then my mum has picked up a barbecue for us. Bless oh, herself. Buzzing. She's carried that in Costco, so we're gonna go and collect the barbecue. I'll cook her a halloumi kebab on it. You will cook kebab. You will cook her a halloumi kebab. Kebab. When are we gonna have our first bar first barbecue? This weekend. Really. Yeah. Wow. I'm actually buzzing for it. And beep said it was really good. That was good. Who said it was really good? Ash, Holly's husband. Why did you beep it out? I don't want him in it. Oh really? Don't want him in it. Really? <laughs> so edit all this. No, I'm joking. I don't care. Okay, huh. bye. Bye vlog. Bye. Uh, bye. What? Sorry, this car's really loud, so you guys probably can't even hear. That's why I never film because everyone's like, Oh, can you film or come drive with me? And I'm like, come Drive with me? Yeah, they're quite popular. <clears throat> but I can't because the sound, honestly, the sound of the car is so loud when I put you on here. And everywhere in this street is a red light. Well, I'm just not really know. driving. It's... I'm going to just ring her back. Hello, anyway. Um, I've got this new jacket on from Mango, which they do send loads of colours. I think I'm going to buy a few. They also do some matching skirts. I thought it was so cute. You guys can't even see it. I've got this silly little handbag because I didn't return it in time, so I've had to keep it. What are you wearing? Your OOT day. H&M. Uh, Calvin Klein shorts. Oh, yeah. 
chimichurri trainers, boxers, Calvin Klein, that's what it sucks. Put these white trousers yeah. on from Mango. Ow! So we just got a coffee. Oh, someone just walked in front of the Ooh. car. Oh, my battery's flashing low, which means I'm gonna have to continue vlogging on my phone. Hi, vlog. So, I feel like it's been a little bit of a minute. Oh, me on sneezing in there. Um, we did go to the garden centre. It was really quite boring. Just like from you guys' perspective, I feel like you would not have enjoyed it. Look how tired I look. I feel exhausted today. Um, but the weather's kind of warm. I mean, it's really not that warm. Like, if you're in the US, you're probably thinking, these people are crazy. Like, I'm in a hoodie. But we've decided, we have made it our mission that we are having a barbecue tonight for two. We don't care that no one wants to join us. We are doing it. Um, Leon bought this barbecue. It's actually kind of cute. And we also bought this, like, sofa for the outside from Audi. And I just have to show you guys it purely because of the cost. I just can't get my head around it. Hang on a minute. Move this bit because it should be an L shape. Me and him argue about it, but... I'm gonna move it so you guys can see you guys it's actually so cute for the price so this is the sofa that we got um this is like a footstool so it moves out you can either have it as like a table and take that off um or you can have it like an l shape or you can have it as a footstool or put another bit there like you can move it around basically is what i'm trying to say but this is it um it was 200 and i want to say 60 pounds which i know you'll be like oh my god that's so expensive trust me for garden furniture that's actually a really good price for a really good like sofa because i went into b q today and a couple other places and trust me the garden furniture is not that price so this was audi be quick it's sold out online but you can check store availability i got mine in store um he put it together which was great comes with these cushions and then we bought these cushions today from b q which i just think they're really cute kind of a little bit more add something also how cute my nails that i had done obsessed um this i'm probably not going to keep there it's probably going to go on the table but just temporarily it's there same with these little bits they're not staying they're going to move it's going to move um but yeah this is our barbecue which is kind of cute also he uh sprayed not sprayed you know when you do that thing where you clean up the patio i'll wash this so it looks really nice anyway this is his new toy i don't understand it, it honestly right now to me just smells of fumes also i bought these two pots i'm so gutted so i bought these two pots from the garden center how nice are they they're like a pottery kind of pot in a sage green for two olive trees that i was going to pick up from audi and the olive street olive trees have sold out so oh, i'm so annoyed about that because they're a really good price in audi so that's a bit annoying i'm gonna keep my eyes out in costco and see if i can find some olive trees but yeah this is his new little gadget that he's obsessed with the garden by the way it obviously needs still a little bit more tlc but we're getting there i mean i never showed you guys quite the before because i was genuinely mortified um but hopefully it'll get really pretty and there are some really nice plants in these beds although the cat keeps coming and like destroying them oh i think the cat pooed in there okay that's nice but yeah that's that and then i bought these lanterns from the range this is what they look like i think they're really cute so i kind of want to get some more um they're like these big oh lanterns and then i just filled them with these candles um but i think they look really nice i wouldn't mind like one there and maybe one there like just a few more so i'm gonna try and get some more of these kind of lanterns because i think they make it look really nice but how are you getting on over there oh nearly got taken out by the um Oh yeah, these are our little solar panel light things we're testing. I don't know. That's how they just are. stick, should we just, where should we, they've only got two just to test if they even worked. Just want to see if they even worked. They might look horrendous. <laughs> they do look a bit horrendous. Yeah, I'd know, eh? But fairy, showing the fairy light. Yeah, well you can't really see them. Little bad seed there. But yeah, it's getting there. Isn't it? I'd enjoy. I'm gonna show you guys a bit of a haul of what we bought in the shop and then I might sort myself out and make the salad. Um, I've packed everything. Oh, you put it in the fridge? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll just show you through the fridge. Here we go, he put it all away. Uh, by the way, if you see me, it's never mine, it's always his. But yeah, we've got some burgers for him and stuff. Some potato salad. Now, I got this potato salad from 
Sainsbury's, that's all they had. And then I also did pick up some potato salad from M&S. So let me know in the comments what potato salad are you recommending. Um, we've got some of my favourite hummus, if you've not tried it. Oh my gosh, the lid's off that. I didn't realise. Um, that's it. This, the I think, I believe it's an Israeli brand. And it's the best hummus. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Israeli. Um, coleslaw. The most amazing macarons that were sent to me from Lodai. I'm never going to pronounce that correctly. I do apologise. And some other bits and bobs. Lots of alcohol in here. Um, so yeah. I'm going to sort out a salad and sort myself out. Leon has been preparing everything, haven't you? This is mine, I think. Because it really contrasts. Oh, sausage. Oh, Linda McCartney sausage. Yeah. I'm okay, actually. Sure. Yeah, I think I'll be alright. I've got the potato salad coleslaw, haven't we? He made these little skewer things, which are cute. I actually really like onions. There's some onion on some of them. Uh, this salad I'm going to just make up in a minute. It's literally one of those ready-made salads. But yeah, very cute. This was, by the way, just FYI, not like a big barbecue, was it? No. This wasn't like a going for it barbecue. This is, uh, this is just a tester, isn't it? I'm gonna make an Aperol. Hey guys, I just made myself this Aperol, which by the way is 10 out of 10, but had a bit of an incident with the soda water and I actually caught the whole thing on camera. So yeah, I'll either insert that clip or you guys can go and check it out. But you can see the repercussions of my actions. So yeah, kind of dumb of me. Well, Leon's done a very good job. He basically, so I'm chomping my salad in the background of that. Um, he did this himself, yeah, didn't you? The first one. But he did everything. He even yeah. started putting out the, the little mini cucumbers on the board. I was like, wow, what's going on with you? Doing a grazing board? Doesn't it yum? So yeah, we're gonna eat. This is our garden, by the way. The little lights are out. We need to put uh, oh. lights on that side and at the back. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's easier to do it actually when it's dark so you can see where they're going. Mm -hmm. They look cute. They look really good. Hey guys, she's ready, we're going out. Sorry that I've, well actually not sorry I've been absent because I think I vlogged yesterday, we had a little barbecue, super cute. Woke up this morning and I am kind of dog sitting-ish for my mum and dad, um, cause they've gone on a lovely holiday. But I'm kind of splitting up with my sister as well. So I'm like in and out of their house, my house, running here, there and everywhere. Um, don't worry when I posted this vlog, they will be back, so. I'll be back in my house, have no fear. I'm not letting anybody know. Um, but I did wanna show you guys my outfit really quickly. Leon actually spent the day in London with his friends and I literally just spent it at my mum's chilling in the garden. But we're gonna meet up and have some dinner together now, literally just locally. I've got such a bad stomach cramps, I don't know why. Um, but I just wanna show you guys my outfit. Cause I actually put this together, very slapdash, because I have no clothes here at my mum's anymore. So Liv, if you're watching this, Part of this is your outfit. This is my sister's Mistress Rocks blazer that I think is super cool. Um, I don't know if they still stock this because if they do, I am literally gonna order it tonight. White linen shirt is Zara, crop little um, brown on underneath. Green skirt is also Zara. Very cute, I don't know how you guys can see. Then I've got on my black donks and this bag. It's the most mismatched outfit, but like I said, I do not have half the stuff. So it is what it is. Um, you guys can kind of see it. Very jealous of everyone in Coachella at the moment. I feel like I'm getting FOMO big time, which I never thought I would get. Um, oh my gosh, Leon's texting me. He's like, where the heck are you? I'm waiting for you. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring you for dinner and I'll check in in a bit. I'm with drunk Leon. Tipsy. I've got tipsy, not drunk. Comment below. What do you think? Um, we've come to this restaurant. It's got beer, I've got Prosecco. A bit squished in the um, corner, but beggars can't be choosers because we were a bit late to the table. Because Leon was waiting outside for me, but I would have made it in, I think. But he had a gift for me. He had some flowers that he's given me. They're on the floor, but I'll show you them. Oh, he's gonna get them out. Wow. 
They're actually really cute. They're really nice. So, yeah, we're gonna just have some dinner here and like a couple of drinks, but annoyingly, I, I just ha I don't want to leave the dogs all night because like, they look so sad and no one's there, so I don't think we're gonna be long. But my sister did text me saying she's not gonna be out late, so. She's probably? No, she's with her friends. Got some balls, and uh, that looks nice. Very cheesy. Hello vlog. I'm here with Liv. Hello. It's very early for us this morning. Yeah, bright and early. Bright and early. We're in London. It's about five minutes to nine, nearly nine. Uh, what should we cross there? Yeah. We are headed to a Hawaiian Tropic event today. Then we've got a new look event. As you know, look at us. So I just thought, why not vlog and bring you guys along? Um, we're literally just about to go inside. So let's have a look. Hair looks wild today. The it's wind really was vibe. going kind of crazy at the Yeah, time these are our looks. But it's cute. Kind of this would be a cute place to get a pic. Yeah, that's what I would do. Charlotte Street House. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we're going to eat. Just making some DIY little granola yogurt moments, aren't we? This is mine. I'm really nice. Yeah, I know. That's the one thing we can't figure out. We've got this like orange fruit and we don't know what it is. So comment below if you know. Do you? Like a, I really am not looking my my best this morning, guys. To do a bit of a refresher. That journey was a bit of a, a bit wild. I could just do it with a bit of a refresher. I mean, the shiniest thing I've ever been in my life. <laughs> That's dragon fruit, isn't it? Yeah. My grandma was raving about that the other day. Hi, Gaga, if you're watching. <laughs> Hey Gaga! But she was like, me and Neil tried this fruit. What, well, the dragon fruit? And it was a dragon fruit. I actually don't think I've ever had dragon fruit. I have once. It's kind of not what you expect. Hello everyone. Gosh, I really do look winter. Do you know what guys, my extensions need to be retaped? But I'm actually going on a little trip. Um, and I don't have time to have them done this week, which is seriously not ideal because like, this is a brand trip. So it's kind of embarrassing because my hair's falling out, but we rolled it. Me and Liv finished up at the Hawaiian Tropic event. They gave us loads of goodies. I'll show you when we get home. And um, we've got loads of new products coming out. What's wrong? It's like a side Sticking bit. Sticking out. Oh. <laughs> we've got loads of new products, like really nice stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to try the oils. Yes, and we're going away, so we think that would be really good. Mm. I don't know if I mentioned that, by the way, on YouTube, but we're going to Santorini. Uh, well, I'm I'm going with Phoebe, and like, Liv's kind of going with Bella, and we're like going to be in the same place at the same time. So it's kind of planned, kind of not, kind of just happening. Anyway, we've come here. Uh, we've come to what's it called? Come to my house. I've been here before. It's really really nice. Highly recommend. And we're just sitting in the bar. And we're gonna have a nice coffee. Mm. And I've got to fill out some forms and Liv's got to do some stuff as well, so that's in mm -hmm. Okay, so we've just sat in Hello. this place not knowing it's actually where the event is. <laughs> we sat here having a coffee. <laughs> so we're on our way up in this little pink lift. Very like vintage-y. Mm. But I haven't done that for the day by the way guys. These trousers are because of Alice. This is a new little top from French Connection. And then I've got this Zara blazer on. Which is always handy. Sunny's a key. Six. Door. How's Liv? Her outfit? This is very cute. Okay guys, so we are at the new look event now. <gasps> look at this salad. Oh my god, this is so a bit of me and Liv. I love a beetroot salad, it's one of my faves. All this yummy food. We, we've done, I feel like, is eat today. And then, this is the little setup. So, I'll show you some of the pieces that they've got. This, I thought, was so flipping nice. Really, really cute bits. Here I am. Here's Liv. And we've just got some of this lemonade, which is yeah, which delicious. Is so nice. I've left mine here, but. <laughs> really, really good. And this little lemonade stand. This, this room is so nice as well, by the way, guys. Like, look at these windows. Like, look how nice this room is. It's lovely, isn't it? 
Okay guys, so we're here at the New Look event. It's the most gorgeous room ever. And they've got loads of bits to choose from. Um, I'm obsessed. Hi, there's living me. With this dress, like, oh my God, it's so cute. They've got loads of shoes and accessories. I think I'm gonna grab this hoodie as well. Look how cool the back of the hoodie is. I just love that with the little alien. Let's take a trip. I love it. Um, there's this little t-shirt, loads of little bits. Here's the Anne Marie. Video for you guys. Oh my god, that blue set she has on is so cute. I love that and the tweed. <laughs> love. Hello vlog. So we I'm so warm. I'm in this like knitted top, which is so cute by the way. It's from French Connection and I love it, but it's very warm today. <laughs> um we just left the New Look event. Gosh, we've really been bumped into Bella, bumped into a girl that I know called Gemma, Talbot. Uh, who else was there? I'm trying to think. Maria, Sadie. So many people were there actually, which is really nice. Um, it's quite nice you get to kind of know people, I feel, like when you go to more events. So now we're just getting in a cab to Selfridges. We could have got the, like, we could have walked, but it was a bit of a walk, and we could have got the tube, but we just wanted an easy life. So we literally just got in a cab, and we're going to go meet my mum and her friend, and I'm going to have a little bit of a peruse in Selfridges. My aim is to try and have a little look in Chanel. Um, not to buy, but to just have a look at the quality of the bags and my thoughts. So that's kind of like the aim. Um, but God knows if I will even get in there because it just seems to go crazy. So yeah, but it's very warm today. I didn't really realise. We've got some cute bits in New Look actually. I got like this oversized hoodie um, and the little dress that I showed. I think I showed it, it's like orange. So yeah, I'm sure I'll show you guys all the bits that I picked up when I get home. But yes, very warm. Hey y'all, hey y'all. It's the morning after the night before. No, I'm joking, you guys saw. Yesterday pretty much we went obviously to the Hawaiian Tropic event and then to the new look. Should I show you guys what I picked up because I don't actually think I showed you. Let's start with Hawaiian Tropic. First thing I'm gonna use this when I go and shop because how darn cute is it? Um, it was a really good setup. It, they had like a tape. I'm so sorry, by the way, about the chaos behind. Like, I'm not even gonna get into it. I go to Tuscany on Friday. I'm going to Florence on Friday with Phoebe for a job. And my to-do list, I've just written out on my phone. It's actually giving me a bit of stress. I can't even think about it. So the state of this room is probably the bottom of the list just because of everything else I have to do. That's boring, you guys don't need to know. I loved how Hawaiian Tropic did it. They had a table with products and they gave us a bag and we could fill up what we want in the bag. And I just think that's a really good way because it stops you from getting unnecessary product. Um, it stops the brand from giving out unnecessary product unnecessarily. Um, and I just think it was a really good idea because I think a lot of the time in this job, obviously always eternally grateful for PR and parcels. Please don't think that I'm not. But what I'm saying is, is sometimes you get just unnecessary amounts of stuff and then you've got to like give it to friends, give it to family, like, you know, cause you don't, you don't want to not use it. Anyway, ramble. A few things from Hawaiian Tropic. I'm a massive fan of this brand. Have them for a really long time. Mostly their uh, sun cream, suntan products. I'm not one that's ever used the tan because they kind of marketed this tan to us at the event like it was a new product. And then someone DM me saying, I've been using this for a really long time. So it sort of confused me. But I'm very excited. I'm actually going to use this tomorrow before I go away. I'm going to try their tan. It's the Hawaiian Tropic Sunless Tan. I'm going to use the Express one and sleep in it like I always do because I just think that's the best. I really like the Sienna Tan, by the way. That's like my go-to tan at the moment. And Vita Liberata. Love. Those are my top tans. I've always raved about those tans since day dot. I've never worked with Sienna or Vita Liberata or Hawaiian Tropic. So I'll let you guys know my tea and thoughts on this tan. But yeah, I grabbed that. And then... I actually picked up some sun cream because I just felt like this is something that I will actually use over the next couple of months. So I got the oil uh, sun cream that they had because they didn't have any of the creams, they just had the oils in SPF 30 and 15. Um, and all their products are vegan and cruelty free, which I really like. And then they brought out this new product, which I'm really into, the idea of this. Um, never seen anything like this. So it is a translucent powder but it has SPF 30 in it. So say you're sat by the pool or like the beach or something, you're really shiny and you want to sort of mattify your T-zone but you want a bit of SPF, you just do that and it, the product comes out. I don't know how well you guys can see. 
But I thought it was kind of cute and cool. So that's what I got at Hawaiian Tropic. Okay, something weird's going on with my camera. I actually do not even know, so I apologise. Next up, I did go to the New Look event. Um, we went to their little press event, which was so cute. Um, and I met so many girls there that I haven't seen in a long time, which was really, really nice to catch up with them. I got this hoodie because I think I'm going to wear this on the plane. I think this is so cool. So this is one of the Anne-Marie pieces from her edit. It has this little alien on it. Okay, I don't know how you guys can see, but it has an alien on it. It's like an oversized hoodie. And then this is the back. And I just think it's so cute. And I think it says something like, take me on a trip or let's take a trip. And it's like psychedelic. And I just, I kind of think it's punny. So I picked that up. I then grabbed these sunnies. Where are they? Grabbed these sunnies because I thought they would be cute for holly bobs. Comment below, what do we think of the banana sunglasses? I have this dress. I just thought it was really cute. Um, I just thought I would wear it on this trip that I'm hopefully going on this weekend. Um, and it's like got flowers on it and it's orange and fun and it's kind of like an ice cream and I just... I thought it was like the epitome of a summer dress from New Look. So yeah, I did get it in a 10, so I'll have to try it on for size because that does make me a bit nervous, but it has got stretch in it. So we'll have to see. Right, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna go get my nail repaired and I've got to pick up some things and then I've got so much to do. <gasps> Wish me luck. Hello, vlog. Oh, well done if you made it to the end of this one. Um, I just want to top on here and sort of end this vlog. I am editing it right now, it's about to go out, and I wasn't going to post it, but I just thought sometimes it's quite good to see sort of what I'm actually getting up to sort of behind the scenes and what I don't really show on Instagram and places like that. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this vlog. Don't forget my HelloFresh code, I'm going to leave it below, um, and I'll mention it on Instagram as well, just in case you do want to check it out, like I said, if you literally want to do it for like one night and see how you get on with it. Um, then you can use my code and give it a go. I don't get anything from it, but I just want to help you out if you want a bit of a discount. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, my next video on this channel will be my Tuscany vlog, which I'm so excited to get up because it's just so much fun. Then after that, I have my Paris vlog. So loads of travel content. I'm also going away in like three days. Honestly manic at the moment. Like I feel like I'm in my house for two seconds. Like why am I paying a mortgage? But um anyway so yeah just want to let you guys know what is coming on this channel there is a graduation wedding guest dress video coming i'm really sorry i didn't get it out sooner i know a lot of graduations have sort of happened now but i've, I've honestly just not been here to, to film it so i have all the dresses ready i'm actually filming it tomorrow and i hope i'm gonna get it out, gonna get it out super soon for you guys because i know you want to see it so yeah wanted to keep you posted i hope you enjoyed this video sorry for the chaos as always it wouldn't be a george may vlog if it wasn't chaotic energy. Have a lovely evening and I'll check in with you all soon. Bye.